So, there's a new series coming out from Marvel about She-Hulk. Something I think is really interesting, but I'm really worried about. Because under normal circumstances, I would probably watch this show. I've seen every Hulk TV show and movie dating back to the Bill Bixby days, and I've wanted them to do a new Hulk movie for a long time. She-Hulk is in the same area, and would scratch that itch. And heck, I always thought she was cute. But I've read some things about this that are putting up a lot of red flags. And I have to say I am very pessimistic about how this series is going to turn out. And I mean very pessimistic. So let's talk about why. The basic problem here is something that's taking over the movie business as a whole over the last few years. And of course I'm talking about politics being inserted into non-political stories. We've talked a bit about the dangers of attacking your own audience and similar things. But there are other things that come into play specifically when we talk about the formulas themselves for these types of stories and how they can get messed up when we don't know what we're doing. Just because a character may look like a certain portion of people or have things in common with them does not mean that they are marketed towards that group of people. And that's the mistake. And how is that playing out? Well, when you look at how people are discussing this show, the decisions that are being made are on behalf of grown women. Just like in the comic book making her more human, have a more realistic body type, and so on. And that can be great. In a lot of cases, doing that with a character will make them more successful. But not in this case. That's not what a character like She-Hulk does. She-Hulk is an adult woman, but adult women aren't who the character sells to. She-Hulk, like most superheroes, is not a representative of her viewers in the way that Harry Potter, Bella Swan, or Luke Skywalker is. She-Hulk is a role model for her viewers. Because, like we've talked about, there are two main formulas for fantasy movies. Either a special person comes to the normal world, or a normal person goes to a special world. The normal part of the story is what makes things feel real, and allows us to react emotionally when the special part shows up and changes it, because we can imagine the same thing happening to us or our world. So when people are supposed to see the character as normal, or like them, then the character should be very similar to the audience, and non-threatening. This is why Harry Potter, Bella Swan, and others like them have very little personality or expression. And if She-Hulk was that type of character, then She-Hulk could look like a realistic person. But She-Hulk is set up for the other template. She-Hulk is supposed to be a special person who exists in our normal world, which means that she is supposed to have outstanding traits. Those traits are, in fact, what make her interesting. And furthermore, these types of characters are not supposed to be in the same demographic as their audience. The story doesn't even work if they are. Because, like we've said, the audience is threatened if a character is in the same age group or category as them, but much more capable than they are. Instead, a character like She-Hulk is supposed to be an adult who is marketed to young girls. Just like Barbie, who is known for possessing all the dream traits, outfits, and looks that girls might fantasize about having. People may like the character out of nostalgia after they grow up, like men who enjoy Batman, but that connection is formed when they're young and thus the character has to be set up this way. So beyond all the other things people are talking about, we've got a fundamental problem here with how this show is being developed. You can't take a template that is totally designed for the special character that exists in our world and mess with it without knowing what you're doing. You'll end up with something that will make a small number of people happy, but a product itself that doesn't work for the overwhelming majority of your audience. And what's even worse, you may have noticed that the small number of people who demand these things don't actually watch the shows once they're on. They may start to watch them, but they stop pretty quickly, and the ratings or box office drop off. This is because the emotional payoff for these people is not from the things that happen in the show. It's from the things that happen in the real world. The battle they fought was to change something in the media to something that helped their own place and self-image in the world. And once that change was made, they got the emotional payoff without ever having to leave Twitter. So while they may try to watch the show as a reward to the people that produced it, there's just nothing there for them, because they don't get much more sense of confirmation from seeing the program. Because, like we've said, that is now fundamentally flawed. The end result, then, is that a network or studio spends a lot of money to produce a show like this, gets a lot of feedback from people on social media that makes them think they did a good job, and then the actual show quickly goes down in numbers, and they're left losing money and scrambling to figure out why. Usually, this ends up getting blamed on some other group of people, but it's actually an example of how important it is to understand entertainment before we try to make it. I hope this isn't what happens and they avoid making any wild changes to the character, but until we can be sure, 
let's keep our fingers crossed. Thanks for your time, and I'll be back soon.